tonight on Space Cadets. All right, folks. Now, you've probably been hankering uh, to have a look down at home. See what you've been missing all these uh, few orbits. So, my Mark 2, 1... There you go. Welcome to Space Cadets. The Space Cadets are nearly 24 hours into their mission to boldly go nowhere. Mission Control got them up last night and we'll be reliving that, mo that in a moment. Uh, and I tell you, if you saw it last night and thought that was good, believe me, there's more truly jaw-dropping moments tonight. The hits keep coming. Now, before the launch, the Cadets were shown what they thought was the mission control, but in fact, this room is where it really all happens. This is the real uh, kind of box of tricks. A real mission control will monitor things like, I don't know, booster systems, payload deployments and retrieval systems. The only things that interest uh, the boys in here are noise, vibration and cameras as they continue to maintain this staggering illusion. Um, <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> I like him a lot. He's Dean Andre. All right, Dean. You okay there, matey? Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Well done Thanks. with yesterday. Thanks. You must feel absolutely chuffed about the launch yesterday. Well, I'm having a great time. It was so exciting. I couldn't contain myself. I bet. Uh. Did you? Did you just? <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Dean, just show us the, what are the what are the main areas okay. that you're doing in here? Just quickly. We have we have the simulator area. Yeah. We've got the video area over there, and we have audio. All of them are linked together. The simulator. Uh, is, li is linked to the sound and drives the sound and uh, so when the when, when it starts a rock and roll the sound starts a rock and roll and it, then the ship takes off okay yeah, so the systems yeah, all interact yeah, with each other. All... just one last thing what is the most dangerous thing what could blow the hole user Gaff. user error user error Whoops, that's why we have this sign Johnny it says warning live equipment touch anything and you end the show Dean Andre we pray that never happens thank you very much for all you've thank done you. okay let's take another look at the launch there's no background music just the sound effects so if you really want to enjoy the full experience <laughs> sit on your tellies and turn them up to 11 <laughs> over the past three weeks our cadets have been trained physically challenged mentally and had everything they thought they knew about space turned on its head now the chosen four Paul, Billy, Kerry and actor Charlie are strapped into the cockpit, ready for takeoff. But can we convince them that they're really being launched into space? One, you are T minus 90 seconds. Oh my god. Good luck everyone. Good, Good luck. luck everyone. Good luck. Well done for getting here. Good luck, Good luck you Kenny. Come on. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers guys. All Billy. right. Here we go! Yay! Yay. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, 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 seven, six, Mission control five, counts down. Four, three, two, one, oh my God, we're zero. Guys. Nine months of hard work has gone into creating this virtual reality world. But there's a problem. Right over the one, Captain Crimps. Confirmed startup. Over. Commander has confirmed startup. Engine shutters on. Capcom Crims, we have power loss. Main engine power loss. I thought we one Capcom Crims. Guys, we're just experiencing a little bit of a difficulty here. We have no sound. The hydraulics are moving the shuttle, but inside they can't hear a thing. Initially, uh, there was like a power loss, and I was really quite nervous because it was quite a jerky, um, a, a jerky time. Capcom, Crims, this is Earth Orbiter 1. Do you read me? Over. Reading you, like you. bank to turn left into <laughs> taxiway 4 on my mark. Two, uh, negative one, Capcom, Crims. Negative mark. Capcom. I don't know whether things went wrong. It sounded like they did. But it was... It, it sounded like someone was trying to start a lawnmower underneath us. Uh, and not very successfully. And there was, all, there was a lot of talk of power failure. And, um... I... I thought for a while that it just had, had failed, the whole system. Um, and I was just sitting there wondering what on earth uh, is everyone going to do? Time for our Thank actors you, to step in. Uh, we will be waiting here for uh, just a couple of minutes. Is there uh, nothing to worry about? Yeah. OK. Do some <laughs> final uh, last minute checks to yeah. show everything. They're actually it's very smooth, like but They Wait. are towing us out. Okay. So that way, cool. Yeah. So we're just anchoring up to the tow uh, tractor. 
My car's like this in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> After a very tense two minutes, the sound problems are ironed out, and we have liftoff. Roger. Five, four, right, three, two, one, mark. Earth Orbiter 1, proceed with takeoff on runway 9 -er on Ooh. high mark. <laughs> Roger. Five, four, go for your head. We've already three, from the two, tractor. One, we are going mark. for takeoff, all right? OK. Go. Let's go. Let's do it. No Fuck. way. Get it. Yes. Amazing. This is amazing. This is fucking amazing. We are going so we fast. We have rotation. Taking off. I think we're taking off now. On oh, my mark. So smooth. Ten. Nine. I think we're up eight, in the air. Seven. We're six. Five. We're, we're long four. Three. Two. One. Mark. <laughs> Solid rocket yeah, boosters man. have ignited. Come on, we Bill. have <laughs> Landing hydraulics retract. Check. Capcom Grimsk to Earth Orbital 1 now entering square spiral ascent. Check. No g ball so you didn't sort of like kind of just sit back like that. But the noise, it was just like, it was it was kind of what you imagine, you know? It's just, it's really loud and it just seemed like, it was like, ah, oh, kind of. You know, if you watch a film or something and you hear a rocket take off, and it was exactly like that, but the, the noise was emphasised just loads. It was, oh, it was brilliant. Speed. Capcom Crimson to Earth Orbit 1. Confirm a maximum dynamic pressure has been reached. Check. We are nearing space. Flight Commander Ivanovich and Pilot Dawson, played by actors, keep our cadets informed every step of the way. We're going to be jettisoning the solid rocket boosters any second now. We'll start to uh, slow down a bit. We still got main engines, though. Once main engines cut off, we're, gonna, uh, we're not going to be accelerating anymore, so we're going to feel like we're kind of drifting down, but it just means we're Capcom not... Capcom Grimsk to Earth Orbital 1. Prepare for solid rocket booster separation in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. We have oh, SRB cool. separation. Now we see you. Solid rocket boosters oh. have separated at T plus 22 minutes. I didn't know what it was going to feel like to take off. And it was as smooth, but we were going fast. I could feel we were going fast, but it was so smooth. And, and when we actually hit suborbit, it was just clean. It went straight through, lovely. So I was, I was thrilled. Just easing into orbit, folks. Earth orbit, the one kept going clear. Oh, Preparing wicked. Engine Whoa, system man. and single burnout. Over. It, it got more and more authentic, really, as uh, uh, as we went along. And, um, yeah, by the end, I was starting to get kind of a bit, you know, a little bit, almost slightly giddy, thinking, oh, my God, where are we now? Earth orbit, one. You are go for engine shutdown and OMS in 55 zero seconds. Over. Rationals now. Uh, I actually thought we were still on the ground, and when when Drew says, "Right, we're in space now," I was like, "What, really?" Um, it's just like being on a plane, but a lot smoother. It feels like we're still on the ground, don't you? Yeah. So smooth, isn't it? It's amazing. Did you guys enjoy the ride? Yeah, it was yeah. good. That was something else. Uh, we tried to keep it as smooth as we could. Really quick. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing very quick. Yeah. We're doing twenty-eight thousand kilometers per hour right now. Bloody hell. So, uh, we go, we go around the world in uh, 90 minutes. 90 minutes? Bloody hell. That's incredible. incredible. <laughs> uh, and just, I'm just bewildered and enchanted by how successful the illusion is being. Capcom Crimson to Earth Orbit 1. You may convince, commence your on-orbit operations. Congratulations, everybody. Yay. Thank you very much.
wouldn't be a shit sir if someone was we asked an ear Oi mate, do you want a coffee? From right the back. <laughs> and they were going Oh I open the shields and they've got like a space simulator, like a big screen so it looks like we're in space and someone throws a burger at the windscreen. Yeah. And ketchup goes flying. Whoa, what are the odds of that happening?